Hello. No, this seems to be working properly again. Uh, I made a, another video earlier using a uh, non-live format because this thing's screwing up. Uh, so here's another quick summary of what is going on uh, in this neck of the woods, by which I mean the internet. Uh, Candina Heath, Candina Sharon Heath, longtime DOJ, uh, United States Assistant District Attorney, USADA, was a prosecutor on my case, prosecutor on my mother's case, involving the linking charges you may have come across in the uh, news back then, so forth. Uh, it turns out has been producing and appearing in uh, racist um, video pornography uh, involving, I guess, involving her swinger life, uh, in which she presents herself as the queen of spades, wears a spade tattoos, uh, so forth, spades, representing the, the card symbol, but uh, also in this case having the meaning of uh, black men. Uh, spades is an archaic racial uh, racist term for, for uh, black people. Uh, We've been in possession of these materials, and including this video, uh, for two weeks. Video actually just a few days. Uh, have looked it over, uh, reached out to Heath for comments. A uh, reporter reached out to her, the DOJ. Uh, they haven't denied anything, but uh, Kentina Heath has attempted to. Uh, uh, she's been trying to intimidate the uh, little news outlet in Dallas that put this out this morning. Uh, and my Facebook page seems to have been deleted around the same time as uh, she getting phone calls. Uh, I want to, uh, I just want to have something up where people can very quickly, uh, without a lot of confusion, uh, get a sense of what this is about and what it's not about. This is porn that is being produced, uh, acted in and sold for download via Amazon, for instance, where we got our copy, uh, and wherever else, uh, with Heath's active participation. Uh, in at least, apparently one case that's being alleged by this victim that's come forward, which is why we know about this to begin with, uh, she and her husband filmed the sex without the consent or knowledge of the other party. Uh, this person that came forward has been posting since about January on a Twitter account made for that purpose and uh, has posted a number of things which uh, eventually have culminated in this video. Uh, and uh, this also includes message board posts he's, he's pointed to, uh, other things that, that overlap with all of this and, and kind of uh, paint, a, paint a larger picture. This is not about a DOJ prosecutor doing amateur porn or engaging in swinging or anything else uh, in her private life. This is a public matter. Uh, she did not want her name associated with it, understandably. Uh, but uh, when a crime was alleged and when, it, uh, and, and when the policy implications and the kind of uh, other aspects of this in connection to uh, Candida Heath's past and future work with the DOJ, when those things all could have came into uh, high relief, uh, it became clear that this was a very important story, uh, and it became all the more clear, uh, all the more clear, when uh, Heath herself uh, began trying to uh, censor it, which is not an unusual move on her part. Uh, Heath once put me under a gag order, got permission from the judge to do so, uh, on the grounds that I had written an article. Uh, for the guard from jail while, wait, uh, while fighting my uh, case in which I was, quote, critical of the government, unquote. So there are a number of documentaries, books, articles, and papers, and magazines, and so forth, and my upcoming memoirs that go in further detail into uh, Candina Heath and who she is and who she works with and what, uh, what her role has been in the erosion of the rights of uh, the press, of activists, of, of citizens in general, uh, to do basic First Amendment protected activities uh, without being either prosecuted or legally surveilled, uh, as happens to those who donated to my legal defense fund a number of years back and uh, who were identified uh, legally 
by the use of the uh, Dallas FBI. The lawsuit uh, regarding that that uh, started going through the uh, courts in 2017. Uh, there's an article in the Washington Times about that particular matter. It's one of many, many, many issues here uh, that are uh, newsworthy and potentially important, which is why I am once again probably wasting my time in uh, trying to put the, the uh, actual story forward a bit so that uh, the haphazard, sloppy, uh, compiled story uh, does not result as it often does when the mediocrity gets involved in, these, in, in matters like this. Uh, the article on the other side of Dallas, uh, you, just, you can find that very easily. Go to othersidedallas.com, click on Breaking Dallas News. I'll post a link, I'll post a direct link. Again, the article is back up, it's, it's, it's currently available. It's been going, we're going down sporadically. I'm uh, posting it here in the sidebar, wherever this is, on YouTube. Um, that'll give you more uh, particulars. Uh, we do have the entire 25 minute video. We have, again, testimony from the alleged victim, uh, is one of the alleged victims. Uh, and we look forward to hearing from uh, all the uh, reporters and news outlets uh, who can understand why this is uh, newsworthy and why it's uh, important that uh, people in law enforcement and the DOJ and, and so forth not be, uh, not just be allowed to uh, do what they're doing right now. Uh, with this story. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, paying attention. I'm Barrett Brown in Tigua, and uh, it's been a long 10 years.